Okay, in all honesty, she didn't even give you a chance. Hi guys, this is Heike, this is Lola, and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And today I have a reveal for you. Um, because this arrived on October 4th, I think, and today is the 14th, and I had the a couple of weeks out of hell, and I just couldn't bring myself to wait with the unboxing until I could film it. So I decided to unbox it and to do a reveal and show you what I got. So this is from Diamond Shop. You are probably not surprised. And this is actually an order I put in on July 26. And um, then I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. Uh, but somehow, Ruana and Reggie missed this order and I think about four to five weeks after I placed it I remembered hmm didn't I order something from Diamond Shop and I asked them hey guys what's what's the status of my order I have ordered this and I haven't heard anything yet and they were so sorry and embarrassed about the fact that they somehow missed my order which can happen it absolutely can happen so I'm I'm not not mad about it. I could have spoken up earlier, but I forgot as well. Um, so they they uh, put in this order with their supplier and it shipped out on October 1st, finally, and arrived on the 4th. Um, and yeah, here it is. Those This is June Blooms from Margaret Morales. It's one of their latest new artists at Diamond Shop, and it's actually an artist I've been following on Instagram for quite some time. I never realized she was from the Philippines as well, so she is a Philippine artist. And Diamond Shop has added her to their catalog in July, I believe it was, or maybe it was June. And her paintings are just stunning. She does watercolor paintings and they look absolutely fabulous. And this was actually one of the first kits they released. It came out as a limited edition. I had no idea. You have the prettiest blue eyes, my girl. Um, I didn't get one. I wasn't a VIP back then and I didn't get the um, early access and the VIPs bought them all. <laughs> Which is fine because I wanted to get it in a bigger size anyway which is what i did and the good thing about it is even the biggest size comes with the special drills and i've not looked at them yet i've restrained myself at least as far as this goes so there should be two different types um one is called fire opal and one is called pink fluoride and I think the pink fluoride is actually this one. It goes, as you can see, from green to pink. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Kitty, kitty, don't eat my toolkit, please. Thank you. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah. Do you have a little aggression problem? Let's pull some of these out. Eh, this is not a toy. Yes, it is, Mom. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> see, pour some of them out and try to show you the color change. So I've said it in the past. Um, I'm a bit of a gemstone nerd. I like gemstones very very much um i like them in form of jewelry and i am not someone who believes in healing qualities or such as yes i just think they are pretty so i'm a bit of a collector and fluoride is actually a multicolored stone <laughs> you're very on it's actually a multicolored stone. You can get them in, in so many varieties. There's actually one type that changes color depending which light hits it. Which um, it goes from blue to, to purple. I think I actually have a ring with this stone. 
I have to check. Maybe I can show you on camera, but it actually depends on the light which color shows. Um, so this one is green and pink and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it doesn't actually show the change very well. It shows mostly as pink, but here, here these, these show a bit of the green as well. So this is very, very pretty. And, oh, sorry. <coughs> I'm very sorry. <sighs> I might be coming down with something, which would not surprise me after the two, two weeks of, of stress and mm, literally no sleep. And the second color is Fire Opal, which is a bit of an AB color, but the body of these crystals are not transparent. They are translucent, um, which gives them this opal look, you know, from the stones. I'm not sure why they call it Fire Opal, because Fire Opal is usually orange or yellow or red, depending where it comes from and this looks more like classic opal to me but it's it's absolutely gorgeous 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 so these are optional um the fire opal is supposed to go in the light blue I'm going to assume probably in the lightest colors here um and the other one is supposed to go on the pink flowers so mostly up here Probably need to check which which drill color comes closest, so it would make a smooth transition if I add them in. Um, yeah, let's put them aside. And yes, the cat can't stand, absolutely can't stand if I have to sneeze. So I'm sorry, but she's already coming back. <laughs> she's probably going to give me the stink eye. Uh, Let's put this away before she attacks me again. And let's show you the toolkit. The packaging of the toolkit has once again changed. Last time I ordered it was in these cute plastic bags with the with the print on it. This time it comes in an organza bag. And I should really think of not ordering the, any more tools because I already have so many. So you get three drill pens and a pair of tweezers. This is a round painting, so tweezers are actually not a must. Um, three green boats, and two big pieces of wax, and a seven placer, and here's the cat. You also get quite a few baggies, enough to store your drills in, but they come in the drill bag, not in the tool kit. And these are the gorgeous, gorgeous colors that go with this kit. June Blooms is a hydrangea painting. So you have the blues for the hydrangeas and the pinks. And ooh, look at this, I like it. It's nearly invisible from the other side, it's trying to hide, being sneaky. <laughs> I love this. And this is size wise, it's 60 by 78. So as usual with me, I went as big as I could get it. But I think you absolutely don't have to. It's, it's just my, my quirk. <laughs> so Diamond Shop doesn't give you an inventory sheet, but I absolutely trust them that they have packed it all. And they check and recheck before they actually ship something out to you. So usually there is not an issue. I have completed a few paintings now from them and I've never even come close to running out on anything. And I'm going to assume that's the same for this one. And because the cat has decided to take a nap, let's do what we did a few videos ago and just bring you down to the canvas, shall we? So as you can see, it is a very clear print. Um, there are no training wheels, dummy circles on this canvas. 
Diamond Shop doesn't use them for rounds, which I absolutely love and um, I hope they will never change. And it's actually not hard to put your drills down correctly, even if you don't have the circles. Believe me, don't be afraid of it, just do it. It's, it's not hard at all. Um, how many colors? Kitty, may I move your butt? We have 45 colors in this painting. And as you have seen, most oh, the cat bumped her head. <laughs> Are you all right, kitty? Are you all right? Here you are, aren't you? <laughs> uh, the big fluffy hat got bumped. <laughs> so, and I'm sorry if I'm making you sick. It's actually not my intention. So, but I know you. I know you like to see her. So I thought I would pull the camera back up. Um, yeah. I, Diamond Shop uses poured glue and it's actually very very sticky as always. The canvas looks great. There is nothing I can see that is in any way, shape or form negative. As always it looks fantastic. So this painting in this size costs $118. And um, yeah, I fully expect that it's going to look absolutely awesome. This painting looks like it's a very decent mix of color blocking and confetti. Um, it's more on the confetti side than on the color blocking side, but it doesn't have the same amount of crazy confetti that um, my uh, Adorn had. Adorn was so confetti heavy. But on the other hand, it had to be because it was a very limited painting as far as colors go so you had to work with loads and loads and loads and loads of shades to actually give the few colors that are in this painting enough depth and detail all right so far to june blooms i absolutely love it and um, i have no freaking idea when i'm going to do it i'm finally going to work on some of my other paintings i got but this one, yeah, I have to, I have to ch schedule my paintings. I really have to. But to show you why, Diamond Shop is absolutely awesome. So I told you they accidentally overlooked my order. I didn't notice after four or five weeks has, had passed. But um, without telling me so, they added something when they packed my order. They gave me a large mystery box. I don't know if you've seen, but they um, have these mystery boxes now. Uh, large are worth I think $50 and small 25 and they gave me a large which I didn't know until I received my shipping notification because this usually lists what's in your package and even better than the surprise that I got the mystery box is actually what was in the mystery box so my mystery box they usually can be anything a mixture of painting and pens and stuff like that or in my case it was a painting it was one of Anna Didman's paintings and you know me I love Anna Didman I have completed um, two of her paintings have I completed two uh, yes, two of her paintings August and Adorn and yes kitty it's a face and my mystery box actually had Elsa version A in 50 by 43, which is, as you might have guessed by the name, our little lady from Frozen. Um, version A is the one where the, the braided um, hair is missing down here. There's also version B, which has a bit more, more painting. Um, and usually... You know me, usually I go bigger. I always go big, but, and I hope you can actually see that because the cat is lying where the glare isn't and the canvas is where the glare is. But I hope you can see that. It is absolutely stunning in this size because it's actually a close up of her face and it looks amazing in this size. Absolutely amazing. So I was so, so, so surprised to receive this. are a menace today um 
as a mystery box because I, I I only saw I think a couple of unboxings of mystery boxes and never ever was just one painting in there um, and an Ditman on top of that so I unboxed this and went completely Wah! <laughs> sorry kitty <laughs> so just like the main attraction, this one came with a toolkit. This toolkit is a bit smaller. I'm going to suspect that's because the painting is smaller. Um, we have one pen, one pair of tweezers, one piece of wax and one boat. Um, which fits because this is not even half as big as the painting I, I bought. So you wouldn't need anything more than that. If you don't have any toolkits at all, this gets you started very nicely. And then we have our beads. And do you see these covers? I mean, this purple. I would have never expected this purple in this painting. But these are gorgeous. This is going to be such a pretty painting. Such a pretty painting. So the next one I'll be working on will be um, <laughs> Frozen. But the non-elves are Frozen. Um, I think it's a 60 by 90 I got with my first purchase of Anna Dittman paintings. If you remember, I got her together with Adorn and August. And both Adorn and August are finished. So Frozen will be next. Um, she is supposed to go in my living room. Um, and I will see. I have, I've seen another one I really want to get. And she would be the perfect third painting for my living room wall. But I haven't purchased it yet and I might wait for a bit more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's so hard to resist. I really should. I really, really should. So anyway, the cat has been doing a perfect job of letting me not show you what these paintings actually look like. Um, but I I have this graphic at the beginning, so if you want to see what these paintings look like, please check that one. Um, and let me know what you think. I have actually no idea how much Elsa retails for. You can buy her um, regularly in the shop. The size probably 84, uh, Jesus, 48, 48. Sorry, I don't know. I haven't checked, but but check out Diamond Shop anyway. I know they are on the pricier side. I know I get these comments every time I unbox a Diamond Shop kit. I know people. I know. I'm not saying you have to buy. If you can't afford it, that's fine. Not everyone can. Um, you are not less because you can't. All right. <laughs> and I'm not saying you are. But if you can, and if you're curious, and if you always wanted to, please give them a try. They are awesome. They are really, really awesome and their quality is awesome. So that's really worth it. And Kitty, why? Just why? <laughs> and once again, thank you so much, Ruana and Reggie. This mystery box was such, that's such a nice surprise and it was really not necessary because I fully understand sometimes mistakes happen and that's fine. Um, yeah. It, it can happen and guys if you you who are watching this ever have something like this happen please remember shops are run by people people make mistakes don't flip out if something like this happens because it, it always can and it it could be you it could be you I don't know what job you do but um, mistakes happen I make mistakes on my job and I'm always grateful if people are understanding that mistakes happen. All right, guys. Oh, I think I've been preaching again. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you like this reveal, even though you mostly saw a fluffy cat instead of a pretty canvas, um, you can leave me a thumbs up down below. You can also leave a thumbs down if you feel so inclined. That's fine. Thank you for the view time. And um, yeah. There is also the comment section. You can subscribe and hit the bell. You can write me an email or join me on Instagram. The handle and the email address are in the description box below, as well as all the links to Diamond Shop, these paintings, everything. Um, and until then, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. This one and I, we are going to have a bit of a cuddle session now because I think that's why she is so on. <laughs> 
aren't you, kitty? And I will catch you very, very soon, guys. Bye-bye.